Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can create a chart that will dynamically or automatically highlight the markers based on the data that we select to display. I know it sounds a bit confusing, but I think you'll like this post. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here we have two charts. I have 10 years worth of data here, and I have a data validation dropdown. So as I select any year within this, it will highlight in red the in this chart the years through that year, or in the second chart, just that year. So I've selected year 07, it highlights the first seven here, or in this chart, it highlights just the seventh, so you can see which one we're speaking about. Also notice the headers say sales through that year or sales for that year. So again, as I change that, it'll automatically change which year the chart is reflecting. So let's see how we can do that. The key here is the columns that are hidden that contain the data that really drive the chart. Notice columns C and D are hidden. So if I unhide those, we have value 2, value 3. And we have formulas here that will pull the data based on the year we select or only the year we select. So let's uh, move down a little bit in our worksheet and see how we can accomplish this. So just to make it easy, I'm just going to highlight my data, come down here and paste it, so we'll use the same data here. Now the first thing we want to do is create our data validation drop-down list. So I'll go to data, data validation, I'll select list, and my source is going to be the list of years that we have here. I'll say OK, and I'm just going to format that so we make it look the same. So now I select the year and I have the years there. The next thing we're going to do is put in our formulas. So in cell C18, I'm going to say equals if. The logical test is if this year is less than or equal to this year, and I need to lock that, then give me this value. If not, give me NA. And we'll close that and hit enter and I'll drag that down and you'll see that since I chose year 7 as long as it's less than or equal to 7 it will give me those values if not it'll give me an NA. Here I'm going to say equals if the logical test is if this cell equals my drop down data validation again I'll lock that then give me the value if not give me an A, lock that, or close that, drag that down, and notice it'll only give me year 7 because it has to equal that. I'm just going to title this value 1 and value 2 just so I have them named. All right, great. Now the next step is going to be creating our charts. So I want to create a chart based on these values here. So I will go to my ribbon, say insert. I'm going to choose a line chart with markers. And I'll hold down my Alt key so I can get this locked right in the area that I want it to be. And now I'm going to right click on this and format my data series. Now the first thing I'm going to do is for a line, I'm going to say no line. And then for markers, my marker options, I'm going to use the built-in option and kick this up to a 10. For fill, I'm going to go a solid fill and I'm going to make the, the finish on those green and I'm going to have no borders. And I'll close that and there is the basic values I have there. Now I'm going to select that chart and I'm going to select the data and I'm going to add a series and the series name will be value 1 and the series values 
they're going to be this list that we created with our if statement. I'll say OK and OK. And now you can see the values or the markers that are inserted there. So the next thing I need to do is just select those for right click, format data series, and kind of go through the same process. Under markers, I'm going to say built in. I'll kick it up to a 10. My fill is going to be a solid color and I'm going to make that color red and then I want no line there and I'll close that and now there I have it. So as I select different values it'll only populate the values based on whether the uh, year is equal to or less than the year that I've selected in my data validation drop-down. Now to create the other chart, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to copy this chart, move it over here, I'll paste it, and I'll go into Design, Select Data. My value 1, I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to add a series, and I'm going to choose value 2. For the series, I'm going to highlight this range, say OK and OK. And again, now you see I just have that one dot there. I'm going to format that data series as I've done the others. For my markers, I'm going to choose built in, kick it up to 10, solid fill. It made it red automatically. No borderline. Close that, close that, and you can see it highlighted that cell only. So again, as I make my choices here, it will either highlight all of, them, all of the values through that or that individual value there. Now we only need to do a couple more things. First of all, why did I use NA in the formula as opposed to just a blank. Well, if I made this a blank, I'm going to go ahead and clear that and just put double quotes to make it a blank, copy this down. Notice what it'll do is it will put a, basically a zero value. That's how it interprets that. Whereas if I had NA, it will show no value at all. So I'm going to just undo that and get it back to the original way we had it. So that's why we use the NA function there rather than just a zero or some other indicator or a blank. The other thing I need to do is notice if I hide these columns now, the values for those hidden cells disappears. So I need to fix that. To do that, I just select my chart, go up to Design, select data and there is a option here hidden and empty cells. I want to check show data in hidden rows or columns. I'll say OK and OK and I'll have to do the same for the other chart. Make those selections OK and OK and now when I hide my data the values still appear properly. So that's exactly what I wanted to show. So the only other thing I want to do is add the chart titles so to make those dynamic based on the year that I choose. So over here I'm going to put a couple basic formulas. Here I'll put equals in quotes sales through space close quote ampersand and uh, the year here that will be chosen from my data validation drop-down. I'll hit enter and notice it said sales through 04. Then below that I'll put equals quote sales for space close that ampersand and again I'll choose that hit enter. Now notice as I change this those automatically change. So now I'll select my chart, add chart title, click in the chart title, go up to my formula bar, say equals, and select that cell and hit enter, and now it made that my chart title. Do the same here, add my chart title, 
click inside, go up to the formula bar, equals, select that one, and now I have sales 407, sales through 07. As I change the years here, those will dynamically change. The markers that are in red will either highlight them through that year or for that year. Last thing I'll do is just highlight this text and choose white text so that disappears so it uh, won't be distracting. And now I have my chart structured just like I wanted it to be, highlighting the values as they're selected from my data validation dropdown. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.